Today we're going to dry brine a turkey, which is a technique that we love. It's really simple and it gives you a foolproof, juicy, moist turkey every time. I like to call it succulent. Tender. Yeah. Got the salt right here. One tablespoon per five pounds. We're using parsley and thyme that we dried and ground up with the salt. But you can also, um, you can just do plain salt. You can use orange zest and spices, whatever flavors you feel like using. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. So you got your salt all measured out. So you want to make sure to get the cavity. Yeah. All that good stuff in there seasoned up. Good to do with a friend. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna get the top. Put lots of salt on the top. And this was a technique that was popularized by Russ Parsons and Judy Rogers, among other people. And some people prefer wet brining. That's super popular as well. But it yes. involves a lot of liquid and sloshing around in the fridge and big tubs. Sometimes a mess. Fridge shelves. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just. Let me put that. So you want to get the salt okay. all over the turkey. The back as well. A lot of people neglect oh, yeah. the back when they're salting yeah. birds. You want to get the joints. There we go. Yeah. Ah. But by salting the outside of the turkey, it first, the reason you need three days is it first starts to pull out the moisture because salt attracts water. But when it sits there for another couple days, it actually starts to pull the moisture back in and the salt really penetrates all the meat. So you end up with really moist, salty, savory meat. So, Yummy. Yeah, pretty good. So then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into the world's largest snack bag. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Nice work. Okay, we got them in there. You can buy these in the store or you can just use plastic wrap. We're gonna get a nice clean baking sheet and put it right on there and just tuck around the edges and make sure that it's as sealed as it can be. And then you put the entire thing in the fridge. And you can keep it in the fridge for three days, but we actually like to put it in for two days. And then on the third day, take it out of the bag and just put it on the baking sheet and put it back in the fridge with nothing covering it. So it dries out the skin. And then when you roast it, the skin is much more crisp. And then you just roast it as you would roast any turkey. Just make sure to check it sooner because it will cook a little more quickly. Which is another plus. Yeah, and then you have a totally delicious, moist, juicy turkey. With crisp skin. Mm -hmm.